Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. I had a user reach out the other day asking for a lighthouse. Friends, I've got an idea, so let's get cracking. Friends, of course, step one is to sign into Tinkercad. I always choose sign in with Google. Once you're there, we need to go to designs and we're going to do a brand new 3D design. Let's start up here by naming it Lighthouse. And then let's start with our design. I am going to build with the cone. Let's make our base 20. That's the radius, so really it'll be 40. And let's make the top radius 10. That has a little bit of a taper like a lighthouse. Let's change the height to 50 and press enter. That looks a little bit more like a lighthouse, but I'm gonna instead change it to 60. And then I'm gonna try 70. So I'm just testing to find the angle I want. I do want it to be totally round. And I wanna remind you, we are gonna type these numbers. You could stretch the handles, but then they break and that's a problem for this next part. Are you ready for this? We're gonna do Control D. So we've got two of them, and we're going to just take away two from each of these. So eight, we're going to make this one 18. We're going to add to this number, so 71, so it pokes up, and we're going to make it a hole. Here's the magic, friends. Select them both, do a line, click on the main tower, center, center, and group. And you have just got a sweet, hollowed-out lighthouse how fun is that? So friends, I did a quick search of lighthouse images to find the one I want to make. You can see here there are some that have flat sides. If we would have taken our cone and reduced the sides, we could have made that one. I want to make one here that has the round sides. I'm also going to make these fancy colors before I move up and do the top parts. Let me show you how it works. We're going to build something called the gradient. So I'm bringing out this piece right here. I'm going to hold down shift and stretch it and I'm going to type 45 so that it's 45 on a side. That way it's larger than this shape. Now I'm going to change the height to what I want the stripes to be. I'm going to do 10. I'm going to do control D. I'm going to switch to a five millimeter nudge and do control up one, two. Now I'm going to do control D again and again until it's taller than the whole shape. I'm going to switch each of these in between. So I'm doing shift click. So I'm just skipping one and then I'm going to change those to white. Friends, this is what is called a gradient and it's going to fit our tower. So I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to do control G and then I'm going to turn on multicolor and I'm going to set my gradient aside. Now I'm going to turn this into a hole so it's ready to cut and I'm going to bring out another piece and let's do that shift stretch as well. Type R45 and press enter. Now we do need to stretch it taller than our shape. And then we're gonna set it inside. So it wasn't completely in. I'm gonna fix that by doing a line. And make sure we choose middle. Look at it from this side, which you can do from a corner here, and middle. And of course we want it at the bottom. And if we group it, we have now cut out that template. If you hit T for transparent, you can see the template in there. We're gonna change this to a hole, and now we need to bring our gradient in, and we're gonna shrink it so it fits. So our stripes won't be exactly that five, but it'll still be a super cool effect. So I'm just going below, and then I'm gonna go instead of 45, I'm gonna type 44 and 44, and let's do one more align. So select, align, middle, middle, and group and friends you have got a striped lighthouse just like that it's time to put a little platform on top we are going to use the work plane set it on that edge we are going to bring out a cylinder friends let's select the two click a line make sure we've got it in the middle and the middle and you can see currently at size 20 on a corner it doesn't stick out far enough so we're going to hold down and shift and stretch it and i'm going to tell you the number that we want is 25 and press enter make it one millimeter thick let's do that align again center and center that my friends is pretty cool 
Since the white was the one that ended on mine, I'm gonna make my next color red. You could pick any color you wanted right there. And now on top of that, we're gonna put our rails. So work plane again on top. Once again, we're gonna bring out a cylinder. This time we're going to shift shrink and I want the number you type to be one and press enter. F to fit view so you can see that little guy and make him taller. I'm gonna tell you five is a good number. I'm gonna make my rails black. You can pick any color you want. And then I'm gonna use the arrow keys to nudge it out close to the edge. So I'm picking a spot close to the edge. I'm also gonna do shift select and I'm gonna do a line Make sure the red one is the boss and I've got it exactly in the middle of that edge. Now I'm gonna click on that other shape. So I'm selecting just the one. I'm doing control D and I'm moving it to the other side. I wanna make sure these are close to the same amount away. So see how that distance looks the same? That's really sweet. And then friends, this is one of my favorite tricks. Shift click. So I'm holding shift and getting the two of them. If we do control D, I'm gonna look at this from a corner. You gotta make sure you don't click anything. And I rotate 22 and a half degrees and let go. Now if I do Control D again and again and again, you can make the sweet little safety rails all the way around your lighthouse in just a moment. Now I do wanna make those all a little taller. I think I'm gonna choose seven. That looks like it's gonna be more acceptable. Friends, I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna choose white. I think that is going to be the cooler color. I'm gonna go back to presets and I'm gonna make them a group. So that way they are one piece. And friends, now it's time to put our rail on top. We are gonna do that with the amazing tube. Friends, we are gonna change the radius, but let's align this first. So I'm gonna do shift select. So I've got the red one and the new orange one selected. I'm gonna choose the red one is the boss and choose center. Look at it from a corner so it's easy to spot that's the other center. You can see this is pretty sweet, but it's not quite far enough. Friends, type these numbers, 11.5. Boom, it's out to the edge. Wall thickness, let's try one. Ooh, that's looking like a rail, but it's crazy thick. I'm gonna shrink it down and I'm gonna type 0.5 for the thickness. Bam, that sits there just perfect change your sides to 64. If you want, make your bevel two. I'm gonna change the color to red. And friends, that is insanely cool, insanely fast. Let's make the center of our lighthouse with that tube as well. When you bring it out, friends, of course, we're gonna put it near the middle. I'm gonna hold down shift and select that round base and get it really in the middle. And then once again, we are gonna play with parameters. I wanna make the radius 7.5 let's see how that looks i'm going to make the wall thickness 0.5 instead i'm going to try six that looks more like i want i'm going to stretch it up so it's taller i think 15 is going to look pretty cool and we need to make it round and cut out the windows now this and this are in the way for our windows so let's do shift select to get rid of those and let's hide them. And now we're gonna make windows like this. Friends, bring out the whole cube. Let's shrink it down so it fits. Four looks like a good number to me. I'm gonna make sure it is aligned. So I'm doing shift select, align, make that the boss. And I want it to be middle and middle. And I'm gonna make it window size. So notice I shrunk mine to 12, yours may be different. Now I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna do control up. I want my window to be just a little less. I think I like that a lot. And then friends, here's the magic part. Control D and rotate, and we're gonna go 45 degrees. Notice that leaves a little gap in between it. If you let go and do control D again and again, you have just got your windows all aligned. Select them all and hit group. How sweet is that? Bam, almost instant lighthouse. This color looks like it needs to be white. Let's do show all to bring everything back. Oh my gosh, that's pretty fun. Really quickly, let's look back at our lighthouse. Oh my gosh, friends, we are getting super close. We've got our colors. Now we simply need a roof and the lights on top.
Now you could use the round roof. I am actually going to use the cone because I want to show you how we can make those fancy shapes. So first, work plane on the flat edge. Here comes the cone. Let's zoom out so we can see that a little better. So friends, we are going to use these parameters. I want you to type 8 and press enter. That gives us the sides that were in that last project. We're going to shrink this down to the height we choose. I'm going to choose 10 and I'm going to make it red. Bam. Instant roof. I'm going to do a line. So let's just do select by drag or shift select. Make sure we make the center part the boss and choose middle and middle. Real quickly, let's also add our lightning rod. Hold down shift and squeeze the sphere till you think it fits. I'm going to use control up to raise it up and make it a little smaller. I like that. I'm going to do shift select, do a line, make the red one the boss. Look at it from a corner so I can choose middle, middle, and I also want the top. And it looks like I missed one of my middles. Now I can't see it at the moment, so I'm gonna just hide it. And now I'm gonna do control up to raise it so it's popping up. Now when I do show all, we can see it again. F to fit view. I'm gonna make it a tiny bit smaller. So I just did shift squish. I'm even gonna go one smaller than that. All right, friends, now we need to add the little spike. We're gonna do that with a cone. When you bring out your cone, let's put it off to the side. Let's change the base radius to one so it's super skinny. And if you bring it over here in the middle, let's do a line. I'm gonna line it with a sphere and I'm gonna go center, center, and bottom. Now you can see that is still too large. So I'm gonna type 0.5 and that's closer and I'm just gonna shrink it down until it looks the way I want I'm gonna take those two and I'm gonna make them white let's zoom back out and take a look at our lighthouse put the work plane down on the ground that is pretty darn awesome friends let's really quickly add a beam of light up here we're gonna do that once again with the awesome cone let's do our base radius of two let's stretch it out nice and long let's make it yellow and then let's rotate it 90 degrees so notice i'm staying close to the shape so that it's doing the little 22 and a half degree chunks let's click on the center of the lighthouse and let's do a line and make that center the boss we want middle middle and middle and then we can just push it out I'm using the arrow keys. I'm going to go back to a one millimeter nudge and I'm going to do shift nudge to get it to the center. That's pretty darn sweet. And we are going to do one fancy trick. Are you ready for this? So we want the opposite of this distance out here. So I'm going to make a tiny dot. I'm going to do shift select and I'm going to do a line and I just want it to be in the middle and in the middle this way. I'm gonna nudge it out here to a spot where it's close to the same amount. So remember how this is going 40 out about? So I want this to be 40 out. Shift nudge until it's close to 40. See how that is one, two, three, four. I'm gonna do alt shift shrink to make sure it goes around itself and is microscopic. I'm even gonna make it white so it's less likely to be visible. Now shift select. See those two pieces? If we group them, do make sure that the color goes back to the multicolor. And are you ready for this? Your light can rotate with that handle. How fun is that? If you wanna make sure it's lined up perfect, now that we've got it built, we can do shift select. And if we do a line, make that center of the boss and choose middle, it'll even rotate a little bit better how cool is that so friends as i wrap up i'm going to go to my settings and i'm going to shut off my grid and hit the x i like that view better and friends i'm going to leave you some challenges build your own light cut in a door maybe add a building beside this there's lots of room you can also go to the search and if you look up rock there is something called rock mountain 
you could build your own awesome rocks around this. I'm gonna let you have fun with that and I'd love to have you surprise me by sharing your designs. Let me show you how that all happens real quick. Once you click the Tinkercad box, it saves. This is what it looks like in your designs. But I want you to also show me. So go to properties, name it Lighthouse, whatever you want. Give it an awesome description. Make sure you add some tags. I'm going to put my basic ones because this is going to be from me. It's going to have HL Mod Tech. There will be a tutorial, which is what I'm creating right now. And of course, I'm going to call it a Lighthouse. Now, this is the part that's magical, friends. Hit public, and I'm going to tell you, make it no derivatives. There's a tutorial. Follow the tutorial. Don't let people just copy your designs. And then, friends, your design will now be visible in the gallery. If you haven't checked this out before, the gallery is right here. You can see all the awesome creations that are staff picks. But even cooler, friends, check out the recent. When you go over here, you'll see amazing designs by all kinds of users. Make sure you click on them. Make sure you give them a reaction. Friends, as I wrap up this tutorial, I do want to remind you, I've got a website, hlmodtech.com. It has got a Tinkercad tab with so many amazing lessons and then also a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I also want to highlight the Tinkercad community discord. As as you can see we have more than 500 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. And finally friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with the lighthouse and of course if you did enjoy the lesson, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment or suggestion, add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.